Hi everyone, this is Rhonda from Mbaka Design. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the Nora hat in the child's size. This hat should fit a child between the ages of 6 to 10 years of age. You will need super bulky weight yarn and a 10 millimeter NP hook to make this project. We will be working in continuous rounds, so you will need a stitch marker for this project. The yarn that I'm using was given to me by Yarnspirations. To begin, please make a double magic ring and work six single crochet stitches into that ring. Now pull on the yarn end and you see which end of the yarn moves and pull the opposite side of that yarn to tighten the first ring. Pull your yarn end again to close the second ring. Now we are going to work one single crochet and one double crochet into each of those six single crochet stitches you've made in the first round. This is where I recommend you place your stitch marker to mark your place. So place your stitch marker in the first single crochet and then work one double crochet in the same stitch. And work one single crochet and one double crochet in each of the remaining stitches around. When you get back to your stitch marker you know you've completed this round. At the end of round two, you will have six single crochet stitches and six double crochet stitches. For round three, work one single crochet in the first stitch and then place your stitch marker in that stitch to mark your place. And then work one double crochet in the same stitch. Work one single crochet in your next stitch. And then in the next stitch, we work one single crochet and one double crochet. The stitch after that, we work one single crochet. We repeat this all the way around. So working one single crochet and one double crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. At the end of round three, you will have 12 single crochet stitches and six double crochet stitches in total. For round four, remove your stitch marker and in the first stitch we're going to work one single crochet and one double crochet. Remember to replace your stitch marker in your first stitch before continuing the round. 
So our first stitch, we have our one single crochet. Now work one double crochet. And in the next stitch, work one single crochet. And then one double crochet in the next stitch. We repeat those stitches around, working one single crochet and one double crochet in the first stitch. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. And one double crochet in the next stitch. At the end of round four, you will have 12 single crochet stitches and 12 double crochet stitches. For round five, remove your stitch marker and work one single crochet and one double crochet in the first stitch. Remember to replace your stitch marker in the first stitch of the round. Work one single crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next stitch. We'll repeat this around, working one single crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the stitch after, one double crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next stitch. We repeat this all the way around for round five, and you will have 18 single crochet stitches and 12 double crochet stitches at the end of the round. For round six, remove your stitch marker. And in the first stitch, work one single crochet. Replace your stitch marker. And now work one single crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch. Work one single crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this all the way around the hat. To the very last stitch. So one single crochet, and then the next stitch, one double crochet, in the last stitch of the round, work one single crochet. At the end of round six, you will have 16 single crochet stitches and 14 double crochet stitches. For round seven, remove your stitch marker and work one single crochet in the first stitch. Replace your stitch marker Work one double crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. Work one double crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. We repeat this all the way around. Working one double crochet in one stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this all the way around the hat to the last stitch. The last stitch of the round, you will work one double crochet. Round seven has a total of 15 single crochet stitches and 15 double crochet stitches. For round eight, we will repeat round six. 
So remove your stitch marker and work one single crochet in the first stitch. Replace your stitch marker. Work one single crochet in the next stitch. Work one double crochet in the next stitch. And repeat this one single crochet and then one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, all the way around to the last stitch. Work one single crochet in the last stitch of the round. And for this round, which is round eight, you will have 16 single crochet stitches and 14 double crochet stitches. Round nine is a repeat of round seven to begin, remove your stitch marker and work one single crochet in the first stitch. Replace your stitch marker, work one double crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat those stitches, one double crochet, one single crochet. Repeat those all the way to the last stitch of the round, and in the last stitch, work one double crochet. At the end of round nine, we have 15 single crochet stitches and 15 double crochet stitches. To begin round 10, remove your stitch marker. And for this round, we're working in the back loop only, and that will be the loop that's furthest away from you when you're looking at the top of the stitch. So work one single crochet in the back loop of the first stitch. Work one single crochet in the back loop of each of the next four stitches. So you'll have a total of five single crochet stitches in the back loop. Next, we're going to work a slip stitch in the back loop. So work one slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch. Work one slip stitch in the back loop of each of the next nine stitches. You'll have a total of 10 slip stitches in the back loop. Now we're going to work five single crochet stitches in the back loop. So work one single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch and one single crochet in the back loop of each of the next four stitches. Then we will work one slip stitch in the back loop of the next 10 stitches. At the end of round 10, you'll have 20 slip stitches and 10 single crochet stitches. For round 11, remove your stitch marker and work one half double crochet in the back loop of the first stitch. Work one double crochet in the back loop of each of the next three stitches. Work one half double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. Work one slip stitch in the back loop of each of the next 10 stitches.
And we're going to repeat that one more time. So we're going to work one half double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch, one double crochet in the back loop of each of the next three stitches, and one half double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. And then work one slip stitch in the back loop of each of the next 10 stitches. At the end of round 11, you will have 20 slip stitches, four half double crochets, and six double crochet stitches. The taller stitches that we've worked will make up the ear flaps on the hat. For round 12, remove your stitch marker and work one single crochet in the back loop of the first stitch. Replace your stitch marker and work one single crochet in the back loop of each of the next four stitches. Work one slip stitch in the back loop of each of the next 10 stitches. And then we repeat this again. Work one single crochet in the back loop of each of the next five stitches. Work one slip stitch in the back loop of each of the next 10 stitches. At the end of round 12, you will have 20 slip stitches and 10 single crochet stitches. At the end of this round, finish off with an invisible join and then weave in your ends. I hope you've enjoyed making this hat with me today. Thank you for watching the video and please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video tutorials and to follow along on my blog umbakadesigncrochet.com for more free patterns and tutorials. Thanks again. Have a great day.